Mm. Ah! Do the flip. I can't do a front flip, but that's how I feel like. Chicken tikka masala tacos, egg kate rolls, and garam masala potato chips. I've always wanted to try unique Indian street foods while in a fresh but affordable outfit. So thanks to our sponsor, Fashion Nova Men's, I will be doing both in this video. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to dress as a skinny guy, and I'm gonna show you some dishes you've never seen before. So let me know what you think about my outfits in the comments down below, cause all the pieces will be linked. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very useful video today that is brought to you by Fashion Nova Men's. David, it seems like nowadays everybody wants to look really, really skinny. Even more than they did when we were growing up. I would say just the skinnier the better. Being skinny at a time, to me, was a diss. I would say that you were very much reluctantly skinny growing up. Yeah. If you, someone called you skinny, you got mad. Oh, I got so mad, I was like, no, I'm lean, I'm lean. I'm slim at most, not skinny. All right, so this video today is gonna be very helpful for those skinny and lean guys out there that don't want to look weak or frail. I got three outfits, I got five tips for you guys, and then after that, we're gonna go on this modern Indian food crawl around New York City. Let's go. All right, outfit number one, David, I have the Ridgewood liner camo jacket, a little puffy, but I can do that because I'm skinny. And I think the important thing is, uh, there are several reasons why I wouldn't wear this. I think as a bigger guy, this pattern might be viewed as a little aggressive. Not only that, it's a puffy jacket, which would add a lot of heft to me. And it sort of like looks oversized on you. Yeah, I think for skinny guys, you can kind of wear a little something puffy on top and then go a little slimmer on the bottom. People understand that that's a look. So what I like about this jacket is it's very warm, it's very soft and super comfortable. And it's super well priced, of course, because it's Fashion Nova Men's. You know, it's a great deal. And to get this look for under a hundred bucks, crazy. Five tips for skinny guys who don't want to look weak. Number one, don't wear anything skin tight because it's gonna show how skinny you are. It might make you look frail. Number two, buy jackets in a size down and layer up because sizing down means that the jacket's gonna be fitted, but then layering up means you're gonna be having added muscle. Number three, don't wear anything super oversized. I know that oversized is a look, but oftentimes if you're too skinny, the oversized shirt is gonna make you look frail, again. And number four, make sure your accessories fit. Oftentimes as a skinny person, you have small wrists and small joints, but make sure your accessories are fit to your size so that they're not floppy. And then number five, stand up tall with your chest out, even if you don't have a chest, because the last thing you wanna do when you're skinny is slump. All right, outfit number two, I would call this uh, my dancer outfit. Yeah, you look like you would merc some TikTok. All right, so guys, right on top, I got the J track jacket. I love the print, I love the color actually. You know, of course it's got the flaming basketball. How can I hate it? Wide world on the sleeves. Um, very thin, so great for layering. I have this bright blue hoodie underneath that's very comfortable. And then I have the striped jeans. Now, the trick about these, David, is that the stripe coming down the leg actually makes me look taller. This outfit, I gotta say, is crazy. <laughs> this is not an outfit you would usually find me wearing, but I actually, for some reason, feel comfortable in it. Yeah, no, you totally look like you are about to break dance at the middle of a halftime of a CBA game, dude. Mm -hmm. Ah! Do the flip. I can't do a front flip, but that's how I feel like. Overall, this is like a fun outfit. Uh, like we said, man, it's great to have thin jackets. They're great for layering. Um, overall, this, the jeans, so what I had to do for the jeans is I actually had to size up to a 34 because these are super skinnies. Um, but if you're skinnier than me, because my legs are, are not the smallest legs, but uh, you could always go with the 32. It just looks like you have a wiggly body. Like, just, just the wiggles. I don't know, I'm not a good dancer. But I can do, I can do a little, little thing. All right, outfit number three. Man, are we calling this New York Yappy from Queens? This is the Bryce jacket. It's still very affordable. Guys, I have this Como X uh, Henley underneath. It's super warm. So actually, I'm made, I'm ready for the New York winter right now. And actually, these jeans, they're a 34. Usually, I wear 32, 33, but these are skinnies, and they actually fit perfectly on me. I mean, look at the way that they go over these Chelsea sneakers right here. Man, I think the wash is actually really good on these too. I was very impressed. 
And I think one of the key things is when you are skinny, you can wear the gigantic oversized coats and it will kind of fill you out a little bit more to get you into that nice middle zone. Obviously, like we said, stockier guys, we're trying to slim down. I would recommend the profile of the jacket be much thinner because you know, you can get like thin jackets that are warm, but for the skinny guys, I think it actually looks cooler when you wear the thick puffy jackets. Yeah, you, I, I feel like it's an uh, outfit you're gonna see around New York a lot. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for my three outfits from Fashion Nova Men's. I, I, I love the clothes that actually all fit really well. And actually, man, it was overall, like just to get that many different looks, it's cool. Dude, the way they've been able to mimic these high expensive high-end looks for a very low price is super impressive. I'm not even talking about a mid-level price. I'm talking about a low price for a high-end look. And hopefully the five tips that I gave to skinny guys who don't wanna look weak, uh, were helpful. Um, I understand that obviously the oversized, very, very super skinny look is very much in. I know that's a cool style for a lot of you guys, but I'm just saying for me personally, I didn't know, I didn't really want to look skinny. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys, but uh, I got to go on this Indian food crawl. So what are you picking to go on the food crawl with? I'm going to go with outfit number one, the streetwear outfit with the camo jacket and the disaster jeans. I thought I love the jeans. I love the blown out knees. And I overall just like the uh, feeling that it gave me. Let's go get some food. Yo, all right, I got three rolls from Masala Times. It is a Bollywood themed Indian restaurant here in Greenwich Village. Let's check it out. All right, my first roll is the chicken tiki masala roll. Um, basically, this is a street food that comes from Mumbai. These guys that opened this shop are actually from Punjab though, but this is very authentic to what they are eating in India right now. Probably with like maybe a 20%, you know, kind of a American twist on it. Well, it's actually really good. And I would say this is even more spicier than your average chicken tikka masala roll. For the spicy chicken tikka masala roll at Masala Times, I gotta give it a 3.5. It's definitely worth getting, but I feel like there could be room for improvement. Yo, my next one is actually one that I'm really looking forward to try because it's paneer cheese. And paneer cheese is this certain type of Indian cheese that actually, it doesn't really melt. And you guys have seen it in the blocks, it kind of, from afar looks like tofu. So you can see that spice and all the chilies in there. That is so good. This spicy paneer roll is the one to get, definitely. It has this sweetness, but it has this creaminess and actually all the, all the things that the chicken tikka masala roll didn't have, I think this one has it. My third roll of masala times is the lamb roll. The juice and the sauce is falling out of the end. Let's take a look at this. I can tell the flavors are authentic because a lot of the people who go eat at Masala Times actually are Indian, so that's how you know that they're not really adapting the flavors to the full-on American palate. All right, so if I had to rank the three rolls that I had in order, I would definitely say number one is the spicy paneer, number two is the lamb, and number three, the chicken tikka masala. This spot, listen, I, I could see I can see it when they say that this is more of an authentic Mumbai street food because it really does pack that heat. It packs that spice that you're really looking for. So shout out to them. Shout out to Masala Times. I think they're doing great things and you guys can just walk in, grab a roll and keep going about your day. It's a very New York, big city spot, Masala Times. Let's go to the next one. All right, so our next spot is Kati Roll. It's actually just around the corner from Masala Times. Here, I got three rolls. Um, I got an alu, which is the potato one. I got an undashami, which is a lamb one. And I got the chicken one. I think kati roll is pretty cool because um, it's actually ran by a Bengali woman because kati, the kati roll is actually originally from Bengali. This is the unda chicken roll. So what's special is that it has a fried egg in it. Look at this paratha, it's steaming hot. This can't, looks like a the Canto egg over a pancake or egg over rice or to be honest, this looks like a chung yo bing with egg on it. All right, so judging on the chicken, I actually like the spice. I like the addition of the egg, but it was a little bit dry. Um, so I would, I'm gonna have to give it a 2.5 out of five for this one, but um, it's not bad. My next roll is the alu. That's gonna be your potato roll. It's different than masala times because the paratha is actually a lot thicker um, and chewier. That was good. I give that a four out of five. Oh, David, you're actually behind the camera right now. I think you're excited about this one. This is the Unda Shami roll. This is a egg and lamb roll. So let's take a look, that's steaming, wow. So they come with this little side of chilies. I really wanted to try it. I think she was trying to tell me that it's gonna be spicy, but Unda Shami roll. No, oh, that's the winner right here. That is juicy. The meat is really soft. It's kind of like a minced meat. It's got a lot more flavor. In order, my rolls here are number one, the Unda Shami. 
which is the lamb one. Number two is the aloo, the potato one. And then number three is the chicken one. I like how they're modernizing mango lussi. Let's try it. Just as good out of the bottle, man. Smooth, mango -y. They have actually Indian chips. These are really big in India. As you can see how red they are because they have a bunch of spices on top. Wow, look at that. Oh, these are good. Really thick potato, cut very thick, very crunchy. All right, guys. So between Masala Times and Kati Roll, which spot is better? Maybe Kati Roll? I think Kati Roll edges it out by just providing all these other things. The Masala Tea, the Mango Lussi in a bottle, and the Indian chips. All right, my last spot on this Indian street food crawl is on Bleecker Street. It's Tacos Mahal. Now this is not, you know, traditional Indian food, but it's actually a fusion between tacos and Indian food, which is actually the chef's background, which they're actually half Latino and half Indian. They call it Latindian. That's the word that they, you know, they're branding with. Um, but I'm really excited because they have non tacos, they have roti tacos, chicken tikka masala. Man, I heard a lot of great things. So let's go get some Indian tacos. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the chicken tiki masala taco. Wow, this is kind of like a kati roll, except this is non, so it's gonna be definitely more fluffier. Guys, this is the chicken tiki masala taco at Tacos Mahal. Yo, right now I'm getting a lot of sauce. I'm getting a lot of chew from the naan. I'm getting a little bit of a, a kick of the spice, but that's actually really good. I'm not gonna lie. That was so good. I will say it does kind of taste like tiki, chicken tiki masala mostly using naan. So it's kind of like a dish I've had before. I would give this dish overall a four out of five. Next up, I got the vegetarian one, the chana masala. This has a bunch of garbanzo beans and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's go. Very smooth, not too spicy. It's got that great like curry kick. All right, so it's definitely got the spice. I'm tasting a lot of the veggies on this one, but it's actually kind of sweet. I would give it a four out of five. All right, guys, this is the first time I've ever had masala fries. So masala is kind of like that seasoning, that flavor that they put on the fries, but they also put some of that uh, Mexican cheese on there too. Just a little bit of the masala kick. Let me dip it in some ketchup. This one really looks like a taco. As you can see, all the chopped onions, the same greens, you have the purple cabbage. Lamb curry, man, this is juicy, look at this. And that's the spiciest one of them all. Wow. All right, so the lamb is soft, but still a little bit chewy, and it's got a lot of spice and actually a lot of sweetness as well. This is the chicken malai roti taco. So the roti is obviously gonna be thinner, kind of looks more like a tortilla, chicken malai. It's not bad, I do like it. But of course, if I had to choose between the naan or the roti tacos, the naan is the way to go. It's also more expensive. All right, so my ranking amongst the tacos. Number one, finally we got a chicken winner. This uh, chicken tikka masala one was definitely the best one. Um, I thought the lamb one came in second. The lamb curry was good. Um, the chennai with the garbanzo beans and curry was really good as well, but that comes in as number three. And then number four, I gotta say the chicken malai roti taco. Um, holds up, feels more like you know your Mexican taco, but overall, after going to three different spots, Masala Times, the Kati Roll Company, and here, Tacos Mahal, I think my favorite spot is probably the Kati Roll Company, and then it goes here, Tacos Mahal, at number two, and then Masala Times. I think it's a close race between them all because they all are packing a lot of authentic flavors. All right, everybody, so thank you so much for watching that video. Big shout out to Fashion Nova Men's, especially the denim. The denim is on point, by the way, so definitely check it out. We're gonna leave all the links down below if you are interested in any of the pieces. Guys, please hit that like button. Click subscribe, turn on your notifications, and in the comments down below, let us know what your favorite Indian dish is. Maybe it could be a modern one. Maybe it's something you saw on the internet, on Instagram, whatever it was, leave it in the comments down below. Because uh, man, the more Indian food I eat, the more I realize it's really, really good. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.